So what is a reserve study? The main deliverable for a reserve study process is going to be a 40 to 50 page report. Uh, that report's gonna cover a whole bunch of different things. We'll talk about kind of the main four areas that are gonna be typically covered in the reserve study. Uh, to begin with, it is an estimate of the future capital reserve expenses that an HOA would be responsible for. Again, this would include things like roof replacements, exterior building, painting, and siding repairs. Uh, and the reserve study is going to include a cost for those items that's specific for your community so it's a measurement of how much roofing there is and how much it's going to cost to replace the roofing. And it's also going to include a timeline for when that roofing project is going to be required, when you're going to need to do those exterior painting projects or resurface the asphalt paving. It's part of the reserve study process and within the reserve study report, you, the, the association will also get a general evaluation of the condition of those components. There will be some discussion about the condition of the drainage systems or the condition of the swimming pool and the swimming pool plaster surface, uh, the condition of the various components that the association is responsible for. This is a general overview of the condition, it's not very specific delved into each individual component in terms of uh, very specific condition evaluation. This is more of a general overview of the condition of those components. Uh, the other components of the reserve study would also include financial analysis of the Homeowner Association's reserve fund. Uh, so this would include an estimate of those future capital repair expenses and comparing those future expenses over the association's current balance, the current amount of funds that they have in a reserve account. It's going to project out the reserve account balance for the next 20 years and then ultimately it's also going to provide funding recommendations for how much money should be put into the reserves on a regular basis. Uh, within the reserve study you can also expect to receive some general maintenance guidelines, some uh, non-annual schedule of repair items, but then also some general General guidance on preventative maintenance uh, recommendations from your provider. The reserve study report, as I mentioned, has uh, typically 40 to 50 pages. There's a narrative section of a report that's usually the first 10 to 20 pages. It's going to go through paragraph by paragraph and describe what the association is responsible for, the condition of those components. We're also going to talk about the funding recommendations and the general uh, process of the reserve study. The reserve study will also typically include all the data set up in typically tables or spreadsheets.